good day Canadian hopefuls. I welcome you into this video training that shows you how to apply into Canadian universities that waive IELTS for you as an applicant Afri as an applicant from English speaking countries and um, you will be eligible to apply for a postgraduate program degree program if you finished first class or second class upper from your undergraduate program and um, also uh, this program all of this program I mean ensure rather ensure that you go for at least two years program like I said in I mean like is written in some of the in, in one of the guides provided you that you should go for a, a, a program of two years so that you will be eligible for at least three years postgraduate work permit because you will need at least a year working experience Canada working experience to process your permanent residence and um, for you to get a year work experience which means it will be almost difficult to do that with a year postgraduate work permit if you only have a year postgraduate work permit as a result of studying a year program or course so it is advisable to do a pro a two years program which will make you eligible for three years postgraduate work permit so that in the space of the three years let's say a month or two you aren't for a job that you desire and then you get it and after one year working you can start your permanent residence application and you're on your way to also becoming a Canadian citizen afterwards so uh, let's quickly rush through the application and then um, let me also say this in passing that ensure there is a study progression ensure there is a career progression that is you are making progress in your study and you are, this is what I mean by making progress in your study if you finish first class or second class upper it is advisable not to go for another degree program that is undergraduate degree program because it will look like a joke to the visa officer they can't believe why will you like to leave your country and come to another country and do a lesser degree of what you have I mean of your what you have before so for you not to uh, put a red flag on your application you go for a higher program after the one you have that is if you are eligible for uh, if you are eligible for postgraduate studies you go for it and if you are not if you are eligible for graduate certificate or diploma you go for it if you are eligible for post secondary school diploma you go for it but if you finish with first class or second class over you are definitely eligible for postgraduate certificate um sorry degree so it's as feasible you stick to that and don't go below that or else it will impact negatively on your application and it might lead to uh, visa denier or refusal so and uh, for career progression as well or whatever you may call it if you finished I mean if you did accounting in your first degree in your master's degree program it is advisable to stick to accounting degrees if you are going beyond that if you don't want to do accounting degrees it must be that you add a career experience I mean you have a work experience in uh, in your new course of study that is if you did accounting your undergraduate and you want to do uh, artificial intelligence in your postgraduate it must be that you are working in an artificial intelligence related field or else you will uh, you are putting a red flag on your application which will lead to a visa review or denial so or else you have a work experience in your new study uh, in your new course of study don't depart 
stick to what you study in your undergraduate and then you ensure you can uh, always get your visa approved by doing that and um, also don't forget that you can always change I mean you can always change your program when you arrive Canada because the primary goal actually is first to get you to Canada and um, you can start I mean a new life so uh, if you come to Canada with your study application and your work permit you can always change your course of study when you arrive uh, and all that and also ensure you don't apply like I said like like I said inside one of the guides don't apply for your spouse open work permit until you get your visa approved it is very important because primarily they expect you to go back home after your study in Canada even though we all know you won't be going back home but you want to prove to them that you want to go back home so if you apply with your wife and kids at the same time how do you want to prove to them that you will be going back home it will be actually difficult because you will likely be refused visa for lack of home time like i mean they don't believe you will be coming back after your course of study so don't put a red flag on your application make sure you get your visa approved first then thereafter you can now apply for your spouse open work permit then your kids uh residence fees temporary residence visa and they cannot come yeah they can come to join you or you might all live together if their application process came through early enough so let's dive in right into the process the first university here is university of saskatchewan uh let's see how the application process is. so copy the link here and um, paste it on your browser okay this is on your browser uh, here you find a program find a program okay. so uh, look for where international student yeah look for international student can uh, permanent residents and um, citizens are all domestic students but for you you are international student and um okay so go through the information here go ahead and watch the video you can enjoy it read all the information here and um yeah it's either you enter the, the graduate program or it's credit program just but we are talking about graduate programs here because i believe people who finish first class and second class of uh, the one watching this so um these are the courses available for you to study so let's let's check out accounting or whatever let's check out accounting and um, see uh, how to navigate okay so just go through the information watch the video in the program for international student costs 47,000 Canadian dollars and um, you okay so oh okay let me say this the summer summer means um, April May summer means April May summer or spring means April or May and um, fall sec fall September and then winter is January so for April May admission summer uh, admissions available is open for April May 2020 so okay let's see how to go about this yeah you submit your transcript proof of English is already with for you and you submit your resume or your CV 
all of that is in the guide how to go about it then you begin your application so um here you create your login details and then don't forget to save your password and all of that because you always be coming to it and then to update one or two things and also to correspond with your university and also always reach out i mean if something is not clear enough for you reach out to the university you can send them an email shoot them an email or for many of them they have a live chat you can drop a message so that you can ask for something that is not clear enough regarding the admission process so don't forget you need the uh letter of acceptance to start your visa application your studies visa application. so the process is you get your uh letter of acceptance and as soon as you get your letter of acceptance you quickly process your scholarship and for some schools they've applied the scholarship for you automatically but for many you have to apply by yourself so just check the eligibility and requirements apply for the scholarship and then um, be positive uh, about the outcome then go ahead with your study application so let's check through the scholarship uh, of um university of saskatchewan university of saskatchewan so yeah there is guaranteed entrance scholarship so make sure you get one of the guaranteed scholarship entrance scholarship and also apply to any of all these that as many as you're eligible for apply and um, you will um, you will relieve yourself of the finances you have to uh, use in funding your study while in Canada so just go through it and um, everything is um, self simplified enough so the next university yeah the waivers um the wave ielts for you is brock university and um this is the website the link is in the document just follow the link for the application process so these are the graduate programs uh let's see whichever one let's check out accountancy all right let's check out accountancy and then the requirement uh, okay uh, blah 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 the application deadline begins february 1st okay we are happy to review your broad transcript or cp assessment ilts call now that okay uh, these are the minimum admission requirements just go through and the application fee is 140 canadian dollars yeah averagely most schools is between 90 and 140 canadian dollars averagely i mean most schools so and okay do ensure you apply to at least two three schools to increase your chances of success i mean yeah you can get admitted into two schools but you just have to decide the one i mean that yeah that suits you most so uh okay step one review and video program so let's um let's let's see how to apply here uh, let's check let's check the good man graduate portal to apply so uh okay you're interested in undergraduate studies that is you you don't have you've never been to university before and you have good grade in your or whole level you can start with this but if you have an undergraduate i mean a undergraduate result first class second class upper this is what you where you go i'm interested in graduate studies so here you create your account you fill in the details and then you keep your password and details safe and you can always come in to log in and continue with your application process and don't forget like i said earlier that always keep in touch you can mail email them 
you can chat them if they have a live chat or do call them if you are comfortable with this your number call them and then um, to make more detailed inquiries but almost all the comments are on their website and um as for the scholarship yeah uh i mean since you finish first class second class upper they are ready to invest in you like they say here brock want to invest in you so you will qualify based on your result either for sixteen thousand dollars a uh for a four-year program or ten thousand dollars or six thousand dollars or four thousand so it depends so you can just uh just go through the uh scholarship and yeah watch this video and apply for it all right uh let's look at the next university all right so the third university on the list is Carlton university that with ielts for you english speaking applicants so these are the master's program that is you finish two one first class we are eligible to apply for master's program so let's take accounting for instance I don't mind me i <laughs> i'm sticking to accounting in this application so yeah i mean the length system month is very okay with these you will be eligible for three years postgraduate work permit and it's available september that is fall and summer that is april may <coughs> summer could also be called spring and winter is the month of january so um let's see how to apply yeah you can go through this video and um so click here to apply apply online yeah all your applications are practically online and then you can yeah you can as well read all these informations here how to apply applying to more than one program required document yeah the required document your transcript your ref statement of intent your resume writing sample yeah you can all of those are already provided in the guide so let's see how to create a count in 360 account i have it called 360 accounts already have in my mc1 account so no account registers don't have an account yet you go ahead to create that and um, you will start your application process okay so email address and date of birth yeah be very thorough to application graduate studies and um, let's see expected entry term yeah when do you want to get admission summer like I told you is april may june for some schools fall is around september then winter is for january so application is until january 2021 that is application for january 2020 is already closed which is logical uh okay so and that's it pretty account and you start your uh, process so let's see the uh, scholarship that is available in um brock um, sorry, in Carlton University, yeah, the funding packages, domestic entrance scholarship, that is entrance scholarship for Canadian residents or citizens here. Yeah. So, landed immigrant, that is, those who are already in Canada, citizens and partners, and they are, I mean, they are qualified for domestic entrance. But for you as an international student, you aren't qualified. But yeah, you are qualified for teaching assistantship if you had um i mean if you read a good number of publications online and all of that you qualify for such you can read i mean offers a wide range of training opportunities so you qualify for teaching assistantship yeah you also qualify for research assistantship as well you can apply for this and also merit scholarship so yeah just go through the eligibility and apply for as many as possible so for University of Winnipeg, um, copy the link and paste it in your browser. So for the graduate programs, you check if you have a graduate programs. You that uh, is in line with your previous course of study or your career path. But if there is no, you can check out other university. Let's see. 
master management technology and innovation operation so apply online and then um, okay okay create an account mm, so email password student here yeah, i don't think this student number is for a current or former number student so just leave it blank and go ahead to create your account and start your application process if you find a course you can go ahead to study don't forget the first primary goal to get you into canada you can always switch your uh, program of study and um you can also uh, yeah you can also switch your program of study or extend your program of study if it's uh, a year program you uh, opted for you could extend it to two years or even your work permit or your study permit could be extended when you arrive in canada so for scholarship for university of winnipeg masters and doctoral funding yeah go through it one by one definitely i want to believe uh women as eligible for this just go through one by one and see the one you are eligible for and definitely you should be eligible for this international scholarship for non-canadians you should be eligible for that so just go through one by one and apply i mean you can apply up to 20 scholarships yes i'm not kidding you can apply as many as possible just know the requirements prepare a leadership essay and just edit it to taste and all of that and submit as many as possible and be hopeful to win uh yeah few ones yeah if not all few ones at least so for the next school here we have um okay university university of regina regina okay uh i think um let me copy the link here university of regina okay uh All right, University of Regina. So, yeah, the application process is not different. You create your account, you look for a course that is a you're eligible for, and you go for it. You apply, you pay your application fee, average of 180, 100, 150 Canadian dollars, and then you submit your papers, transcripts. Uh, data page of your passport and all of that so let's see how to apply here indigenous okay i think okay you can just go to international let's see what's here okay submit your application with undergraduates pay the hundred dollar application submit your transcript okay and so apply to all of your programs in excluding all of these simply go to online application select okay yeah i think your process unable to apply online okay you can download the forms here in your pdf forms so fill it should be fillable pdf forms but with online application you can just go through this route and then okay oh okay first time user create an account yeah just follow this part where and create an account and shoot as fast as possible like that let's see the scholarship opportunities available in regina university okay yeah just uh, yes mm, new student scholarship international student scholarship is available for you uh university of regina interest scholarship is available for you and check all these other ones to apply as well just apply i mean ap all right uh this is the website application website for memorial uh university and um it's straightforward as usual that is you create your student portal account uh you look for you search for a body program to go for and then um, if it you're eligible for it you go ahead make payment for your application fee so let's see this uh okay the programs the program professional program design plan program sciences then online 
Okay, let's apply. You can go through the white study programs of all of this. You can go through it. So apply to Memoria. Yeah, you can watch the video. Uh, you can also contact them. You can also contact a uh, potential supervisor via this link for your research work. So, yeah, you are with if you're a graduate applicant from China and require more time to submit some supporting documents, okay? You're not from China, I want to believe so. Even if you're from China, you add your education in English, your study in English, so it's not for you. Online application, application transcript, no refundable application fee, okay? Watch, okay, go, go through the tutorials for more clarity. So I'm applying now. Uh, here you create your account and then you fill in the necessary details and you continue. So for the scholarship, uh, the graduate funding, uh, okay, there are external awards or what you call external scholarships Canada Graduate Scholarship is there Doctor Research Award is there Canada Graduate Scholarship I mean all manner venue Canada Graduate Scholarship program is also available you can put it put in for that so go ahead and put in for some of these scholarships or as many as possible you're eligible for and um, the expectations of positive feedback so the last on the list yeah, okay, it's Concordia University. So I think you have opened the link here. So Concordia University, uh, okay, of fast diverse programs. Yeah, drama, education, English, film. Let me just check the first. Okay, biology, MSc. Let's check out biology, MSc. Okay, uh, why pursue masters in biology? Okay, blah 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 blah. Admission requirement. How to apply? Okay, choose a program, check the application deadline, review the requirement, find the supervisor. Just follow the pattern. So, and then, um, you know. Okay, the summer also is May to August. Their fall is September to December, and their winter is um January to April. So okay, apply now. Before you start the application, okay, tips. Go through the tips, and then okay, start a new application. Create a Concordia net name account. Yeah, you can create a net name since you don't have one. Yeah, you can start from that. So, I already read. Yeah, you can read it and you might not. <laughs> so, request the net name. <laughs> okay, and um, fill in your information and then um, follow the instructions sent to your email from there. So, for the scholarship into Concordia University. Yeah, it's still the same way. They have awards and scholarships, both entrance awards and departmental based on the kind of course you're studying. Professor Jalil Ahmad, Alison Kasi, Bavia right now Singh. They have all of that. So you can check out the assistantships as well. Yeah, I know that. So, oh, I wish you success in your application. Thank you.